Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a selector for the H3. So I'm going to type in pound top H3, open and close curly braces. So that's the H3 inside the top div, and I'm going to set the margin to zero and press refresh or click inside design view. You'll see that it closes the gap between the top div and the borders, um, but we need to position the title better. Now here's a little tip for you, the height of the top div was 30 pixels, so if we set the line height to 30 pixels, it's going to force the title right into the center of that div tag. So it's perfect positioning there. Okay, so I'm going to set the padding. Um, we're not going to have padding on the top or the bottom because it will disrupt the line height we've set. Um, but I am going to put padding on the left and the right and I'll set that to 10 pixels from the left and 10 pixels from the right and uh, as you see it's pushed the title away slightly there that's fantastic now I'm going to change the font family so it's font dash family colon and we'll change that to Tahoma, Geneva and Sans Serif and I'm going to change the font size as well so it's font dash size colon and I'm going to change that to 15 pixels and put a semicolon on the end and then click refresh Okay, so now I've adjusted the padding, I'm going to make a slightly longer title to just to check to make sure that we can get enough text in there if we need to put a really long title in, and yeah, that's fine, that looks good. Okay, so it's time again, once again, to preview that in Firefox, so I am going to save the changes and preview, and there you go, we've got an expanding web text box, perfect for any occasion. Okay, so now I'm going to tie it up a little bit using some CSS CSS free um, border radius attributes. Now I'm going to type in dash moz dash border dash radius dash bottom left colon and I'm going to set it to 12 pixels and I'm also going to set the bottom right radius as well to 12 pixels so that's dash moz dash border dash radius dash bottom right colon and 12 pixels there too. Okay, now I made a tutorial on CSS3 rounded corners. I'll put a link in the blow bar if you want to learn how to do that. Um, okay, so I've put the bottom border radius on there. It looks fantastic. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go in and do the top border for the top div now. So I'm going to go and find the top div selector. Create a little space there just under the background color. And I'm going to type in dash moz, dash border, dash radius. dash top left colon 12 pixels and I'm going to do the same for the top right I'm not going to put in the WebKit board radiuses you can do that yourself if you follow the CSS free rounded corners tutorial like I said I'll put a link in the blow bar for you okay so here's what it looks like in Firefox perfect expanding web text boxes with border radius attached as well and you can also experiment if you want to you can put just the border on the left, bottom left and the top right, it will look really good. Okay now here's an example of some that I made earlier with various different colours. Now in order, if you're going to use more than one of these web text boxes and put links in it on a page then you're going to need to change it from a div with an ID to div with classes to make it valid CSS and HTML. Okay so I'm going to show you how we can do that now. Okay, so first off you're going to see the div ID holder. We're going to change that to div class holder. And we're going to take div ID top and we're going to change that to div class top. And we're also going to change the bottom div from a div ID of bottom to div class bottom. Now the reason we're doing that is because the W3C um, says that if you're going to have more than one instance of a div it cannot be a div ID so you cannot repeat the same instance of a div but you can repeat the same instance of a class attribute. Now you'll see that now I've changed the class attribute that the um, all of the styles that are attached to it no longer exist so all of the, um, all of the div tags um, now expand to fit the content of the whole page. But don't worry, all we need to do is change the pound signs to dots and that's representative of the class in the CSS styles. So instead of pound top, pound uh, top h3, it will be dot top h3, uh, dot top, dot bottom and uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so now once I press refresh you'll see all the styles are reapplied to those div tags. Okay, I'm going to preview that in Firefox. If you have any problems, just send me a message on my contact form on my website. Okay, so there you go. The styles have all been returned back to normal. 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.